a real, a real puppy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, and go. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I was really bummed out when I found out that Amy Man and Ice T were fighting on Twitter. <laughs> um, How many people saw that Amy Man and Ice T were fighting? Okay, so this is the problem: is that you end up. Bad act. It was classic, amazing, classic Twitter moments. Um, considered to be the best tweets ever for oh, the Amy Man Ice Tea fights. Yeah. Um, so the thing is, is that it's hard to find musicians that you actually care about and remember to follow them and stuff like that. And I, I feel like reading about tweets that happened is kind of sad. Like you should be getting them when they happen. So, um, so Sonic Living is a company that I founded a few years ago. And what we do is we take uh, what we've done a lot of is we have taken. Uh, Music that people listen to, we scan in their Pandora, Last FM, iTunes, all that other stuff, and return a bunch of shows that uh, are relevant to that user. Um, so we realized that kind of when you go on Twitter, one of the most important things is finding people that are relevant to follow, and music's really important. And uh, making sure that for musicians, making sure that you have a Twitter presence and a Facebook presence is considered to be one of the most important things you can do to build and maintain your fan base. But making sure people remember to go and find you is kind of a pain. So what we've done is we'll be rolling this out in our API really soon, but we put this together for Hack Day, is we made it so that during, you know, we hacked it into the suggested uh, follows on Twitter, we made it so that you can just type in your Pandora name, for example. It looks at all the music you have on Pandora, all the stations you made, all the thumbs up you've given, oh and it gives you all the Twitter accounts for those artists, including the Wow, nice. Yeah, and so this is, and you can, right now we have uh, Pandora, Last FM, Lip, uh, Lala, uh, iTunes scanning will work as well. Um, and this is something that's not just going to be on our site, but it's something that's going to be available over our, our API. So you can just do a call to Sonic Living's API with a, a Pandora username or a Last FM name, and we'll return all the uh, Twitter accounts. And. 20 seconds. And we have 20 seconds. That's awesome. All right, give me a hand. There you go. This is, this is great. I mean, one of the one of the problems we've talked about a lot this weekend or this week is about uh, user discovery and having people they'll be unable to get started with Twitter. And this is just a great way to see people that are already interested in based on the products that they're already using. Uh, one idea I wonder if you considered is using the the streaming API as a way of creating a timeline of these tweets, so that you could you know you could say for this set of users, here's a custom timeline for you that we could show you on another site. Yeah, I think that's something that. Um, uh, I think going to a black hole right now. Um, I think that's something that we really looked at doing. And uh, I started this hack last night in bed at two in the morning. So that's my own little hack day. Um, what's that? Did this last night? Yeah. I mean, I started it last night at uh, this morning at two a.m. Depends if you you know count when you go to sleep or not. It's the break. Anyway, so. Um, Woo! One of the things is building custom lists for users based on. The music that they listen to, so really bringing that feature on. Yep. It's really, it's a really clever idea in terms of how to find people to follow, and also building out the list that users already have makes a lot of sense. Yeah. How come no one's done this before? Because they're not losers. <laughs> <laughs>